In previous verses, there was affirmation of Allah's oneness and the condemnation of disbelief in it. Affirmed now is the belief in prophethood as well as the necessity of following the messenger so that we stand informed that the rejection of prophethood or refusal to obey the prophet knowers is also an act of disbelief, kufr, like the rejection of the oneness of Allah. Commentary love is something secret. Whether or not a person loves another person or loves less or more are questions which cannot be answered precisely. There is no measure or yardstick to determine the truth of the matter except that one makes an educated guess based on visible conditions and dealings, for love leaves traces and signs which could help in recognizing it as such. Now in these verses, Allah Almighty tells those who claim that they loved Allah and hope to be loved by Him above the real criterion of His love. In other words, if a person living in the world of today claims that he loves his Creator and Master, then he must test it on the touchstone of his obedience to the messenger, that is, match it against the frequency and quality of where and how he has been following him. Once this is done, the genuine and the fake of it will be exposed right there. How much true a person turns out to be in his claim will be visible from how much he makes it a point to follow the noble prophet, as, using the guidance brought by him as the guiding force in his life, the same test will show that the weaker a person is in his claim, so equally weak he shall be in his obedience to the prophet Aaron. The holy prophet Aaron has said, He who obeyed Muhammad Nars obeyed Allah, and he who disobeyed Muhammad Nars disobeyed Allah. Tafsir Majari.